All right, well, I have some more good news for the everybody working on the lead alum project. And uh, the last video I did on this, I was using pencil leads for the graphite or charcoal and with the lithridge, uh, litharge, whatever it's called. It's a lead oxide. And I discovered this stuff here. This is artist charcoal that... Uh, you use in artwork for drawing, sketching, and it worked. And I've got two electrodes here that are both this charcoal wrapped up with this uh, lead oxide coating the uh, charcoal. And then uh, they're not touching. I'm using this um, chamois kind of material. You get it at the dollar store. It's a synthetic. I don't know what it is, but it soaks up water really, really well. Um, it's an inorganic thing. I'm, I'm sure it's not uh, organic, but uh, anyway, it works very good for these um, type of cells, and it uh, really does good with this um, this cell. I'm forming it up, uh, by the way, with six volts, and then you slow charge it with uh, three volts to form it up. But uh, I was very happy to see that. Uh, you could make one of these rechargeable cells using um, charcoal. Uh, the graphite, of course, would work also, but uh, it was pretty impressive that it, it would do that. And like I say, you just go to your local artist store and you get this stuff. It comes in sticks, four to a package for a few bucks. And you got to have the alum, and you got to use distilled water, and you got to use this um, yellow lead oxide. It's actually an orange color and they call it litharge. But uh, yeah, it, uh, it worked and I just wanted to pass that on to anybody that's working on these uh, these lead uh, alum cells is uh, you can use charcoal and uh, I'm sure activated charcoal would even improve the performance of this dramatically. So anyway, one more step in our progress here. Thanks for watching.